Hello everybody and welcome back to Necroxus Plays the Warlords of Drunar Beta. My name is Necroxus. Last time we uh, we uncovered a plot to, I guess, dismantle the Drunai leadership from within. We were doing it up here at Elador and we saw probably the coolest reveal of the expansion thus far, in my opinion. And now we're just going to continue on. I'm starting in my garrison because I have two missions that can be completed. My sound is on, I promise. So there was a, uh, what was her name? Shelly Hambly. Cool. I don't know what this actually does. And Delira Moonfang, being a badass. Fae friends. We need someone who can beat Massive Strike, and that is Shelly. So good luck. All right. Let's uh, go on. Uh, today we're going to... I haven't actually done this part before. Some of the other quests that we've done thus far, I've done uh, before that. Um, everything basically up to... Except for the reveal of Sokrathar I've done before. So now I haven't done any of this. So I think... if I, When I talk to Velen, that's going to be the definite story progression. So I, I kind of want to do this one first. Um, so we're going to go ahead over there. And uh, we're going to see what is actually happening. All right, here we are in the Dracorium, which is uh, the one we have to go to for Southern Wilds. Um, just to recap what we have to do here, um, there's trouble brewing in the south. Uh, creatures from the swamp are screwing everything up, so we're going to take care of that. So here's where we are. Uh, talk to Prelate Renu. Thank you for coming to our aid. Rangari Shaula. Shal Shalua. Crippled Caravan. I'm getting reports that Farah have attacked... Ha Wait, that Farah? What's Farah? I'm getting reports that Farah have started leaving their bloom and attacking wandering travelers. This is most unusual. The creatures of Blade Bloom have never been hostile outside their land. We've already dispatched a number of Rangari to try and resolve the issue. A caravan from Azeroth has passed through here recently. You should probably check on your people to ensure their safety. Find Fiona's caravan? Oh, shit. In Shadow Moon Valley. Remember the, the caravan was being led a woman that looked like a wolf. I must admit, I'm still getting used to you Azerothians. They left just a few hours ago. See, again, like they're just not even hiding the fact, the alliance, that we're from Azeroth, which is ridiculous. Wanted, Maroon's Hoof, posted by Orin. A wild tar ugh, talbuk called Maroon wanders the hill south of Embari Village in the west of Dracorium. My brother was injured by this foul beast now he is in recovery. For the safety of all nearby villagers, we must put an end to this vicious, rampaging creature. A handsome reward will be given to anyone who can bring me his hoof as proof of his demise. Does this sound like freaking out for anybody right now? Whatever. So we have to find Fiona's caravan. That's crazy. Cool. You guys don't remember Fiona's caravan was a um, a zone long storyline in um, Eastern Plaguelands, which was actually one of my favorite expansion uh, Cataclysm storylines. Actually, so hopefully. Uh, it will continue being awesome. Actually, I'm going to see if Maroon, I can solo him, actually, first. But, uh, there's the caravan. So let's move. Go find this Talbuk. Which, I don't... Should I go down around? No, I'm going to go over. So I don't, I don't actually know if Fiona's caravan is part of one of the main chapters, but, uh... I guess we'll find out. This... <laughs> So it's still a playthrough where I get stuck on everything. There's a rare there. Cool. Let's see. And I don't see anything. Cool. Awesome. Uh, Tarmarun. No. Nothing. Hmm. All right, so here's Maroon. I'm gonna try and solo this bad boy. It's not doing too much damage to my avoid Lord. That's a good sign. He's getting a, let's see, reduces damage. Oh, so when he doesn't hit anything, he gets debuffed. Okay, that's cool. Just 
trying to save up some embers. Here we go. And one least fun times. <laughs> Perfect. Complete. Let's see. Bring back out my observer, otherwise known as a beholder. But I assume Blizzard is correct when they were like, Wizards of the Coast is not going to let us use Beholder. Because in the, when they first introduced the, the Grimoire of Supremacy, the Observers were called Beholders in the uh, the beta. I was in, I remember, uh, I was like, I was thinking at the time, there's no way they're going to get away with this. So anyway, here's Fiona's caravan. Open for business. And we have Fiona, we have one of the Rengari, I guess, that were sent. And we have Terranar. Oh, she's, it's familiar. And Gidwin, who seems to be dead or dying. Both of them, all three of these characters were in the, the uh... I got the best deals anywhere. Were in the... Sorry, Brain Fart. Eastern Plague Lance quest. This guy wasn't, though. Bezo no. Link's banner. What do you gotta say? You, you don't respond. Okay, cool. Whatever. Time is money, friend. How am I supposed to make all money if we just sit here? Yeah, I know Gidwin looks sick, but I have a lot of merchandise. Okay, whatever. Keep cool. What's up, Fiona? I have what you seek. What do you offer? Herbalism was so much easier in the old days. Now we have to fight through hell and back to even extract a few herbs. Commander, am I glad to see you? We have a situation here. A coin spent here. Hold on, Gidwin. Help is on the way. I have to like double click everything before they'll respond. Uh, Fiona's solution. Gidwin was attacked by one of those four-legged plant creatures. From the looks of it, he is suffering from some kind of par paralysis. I can make a cure, but I need some local ingredients. So collect some shit. Spread the good word, eh? Swamp Lighter Queen. It looks like those creatures use the poison tip spears when they attack Gidwin. It's a powerful concoction to say the least. If we were going to cure Gidwin, we need one more special ingredient. This one might be a bit harder to obtain than the others. You up to the challenge? Cool. No tip. Is that it? Here's the herb here. This herb's effectiveness will put a spring in your step. Be careful. Okay, it just makes me run faster. So, we have to kill a queen and get her tail and then collect a bunch of shit. So let's try that. Ooh, here's another quest. Fighting the Phara. The Phara... Oh, the Phara must be like a race of creatures here. I've noticed them dragging corpses till their bloom. This is getting out of hand. Looks like you can handle yourself. Kill any, you see. So I have to fight five. Okay. My brothers and sisters will be watching from the shadows. We will aid you when we can. Okay, that's fine. Whatever you gotta do. River Beast. I need a heart of a River Beast. I don't know what's wrong with that thing. It's got tentacles and shit coming off its body. Well, there's one. And then, what does these do? Shadow lilies? Do I need one of these? What does it do? Glow step. Allows walking. Oh, it's water walking. Okay, cool. Blade Moon Fara. Hey, they're, uh... Oh, that's not right. They're using the same models as the, uh, the Tolvir. It's probably... Oh, I know what these creatures are supposed to be. They're supposed to be the Genesar. That they showed off at... Bl at least that's my guess. That they showed off at BlizzCon. They're like giant plant. They look like these things. They look like Tolvir, but they're like giant plant creatures. And, uh, oh, here are these plant men, too. Cool. First time seeing these models uh, in the actual game. Let's see if we can get a close up. They're like really highly detailed. No, I'm not going to be able to. I remember seeing them and being like. I could see this being in Wildstar, not World of Warcraft. Let me see if I can find one. Yeah, see, here they are. They're really crazy looking, too. So here's a Moonlit Herb right here that we need. Need one of those. Let's see, a rot vine. What the hell drops rot vine? Uh, doesn't say. Hmm. Is it dead Rangari? Oh, another quest. I need to get closer. But this guy's gonna aggro like I was hoping he wouldn't. No spoilers. 
people spoiling shit in the general chat. Who does that? I'm getting a quest from a sleeping guy. Slumber Bloom. Oh, huh. I appears to have fallen asleep again. These slumber blooms are nothing but trouble. One second I'm fighting Farah, the next I'm dreaming with an Alec dancing with river beasts. Oh, we should really do something about all these slumber blooms. Oh. Destroy slumber slumber bloom with a rock. Very uh, very sophisticated. Do I just click this and be like, suck it? <laughs> yep, that's exactly what I do. <laughs> so I'm like in their freaking base now. So I don't know where I'm supposed to get. Suck it. I don't know where I'm supposed to get rod vine or swamp swamp ladder. I guess from the bugs. But where do I get rod vine from? Silver bloom. Oh oh oh! I ran over it. They drop nothing. Perfect. Suck it. Take it. Hyacinth Mandragora. Holy shit. It's very clearly the Hydra model, but it looks nifty. Let's see if these drop something. drop anything? Nope. Perfect. Uh, alright. I'm going to uh, finish what I need to do here, and then we're going to continue on. I found this place before I even did. I just was saying I'm going to go continue. There's like bodies everywhere. I, I want to know what this is. There's footmen, and there's a giant mandrag- Oh shit, it's a rare! Oh, I'm fucked. Venom Shade. Need help. Need my garrison. I was wondering why there's a bunch of bodies over here. <laughs> Good thing these guys taunt, otherwise I'd be fucked. Cool. I got some shit. But I was, yeah, I was saying, like, look at all these bodies. Like, there's Carabor Peacekeepers. There's freaking Riflemen. Is this just supposed to be for the rare? Or I guess maybe there's a quest here at some point. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that I thought that was cool slash weird. All right, so we've completed everything. Uh, Slumber Bloom, let's turn this in. You can sleep easy tonight. No, you're not. You've, blah, blah, blah. You can sleep easy tonight knowing you have destroyed so many Slumber Blooms. Just not quite as easy. I don't even know what that means. Rangari, here you go. Here's your uh, your thingies that you wanted. You've done well today. Warlock still is unprovoked attack. It's unsettling. I'll report back to the council immediately. Yay! I leveled up. So much blood said. The Farah, are, sh the Farah are blinded by their hunt. This attack is unprecedented attack. Cool. 100% additional damage when it strikes. Cool. That is quite powerful, actually. Let's uh, turn these into Fiona. Open for business. I just wanted to pick up some herbs and relax with my boys. I should have stayed in Azeroth. Oh, wow, that was fast. Okay, let's get to it. Do you have the ingredients? Yes, I do. Bang up job, Necroxus. The space is just about ready. Cheers, mate. Base is boiling. I'm ready for those ingredients. Add each of the ingredients one at a time, and I will handle the mixing and frothing. Speak to me when you're ready. The only honest merchants. Oh, it's gonna be one of those merchants. cooking quests. Cool. I'm ready. With a smile. What do I do? What do I do? How may I help you? Let's get cooking. Okay. Let's see. How about something that'll give it a nice glow? Uh, Moonlit Herb. Nice glow. Moonlit Herb. I 
Okay. They want something meaty. A river beast heart. Hey, complete. Something meaty. Something that'll stir it up and wiggle around. Poison Prawn. Dangerous, maybe even toxic. How about Venom? Yay, I did it. We did it! The elixir should do the trick. Use the elixir on Charles. What? Here, give this to Gidwin. Hopefully, this works. Use the elixir on Charles. Who the fuck is Charles? Here, Charles. What's on your mind? I have what you see. Gidwin's looking much better. Thank you, Necroxus. We have just enough elixir here to help the others. Recipe, Fiona's Remedy. Use, gain 25 resources. Cool. I run a stand -up oh shit, a bunch of new quests. Uh, poison Paralysis. There are others from the caravan that have gone missing. My guests, though, they've taken into Blade Bloom by the Fara. You have to rescue them. The Croxus, you are our only hope. Here, take some of the elixir I made. Chances are you will need it. Terranar. Gidwin's doing much better. Thank you, Necroxus. I can't believe the Draenei have lived alongside those horrible monsters for so long. Maybe we should show these primals what happens when you mess with an Azerothian. Cool. Death to all who oppose us. Kill them. Kill them all. We are out of options. I'm going to go into the bloom to find out what's going on. I'll meet you inside. Good luck, warlock. Remember the lessons of the Oop, past. and this guy. Ah. Like, steal a bunch of shit from me. I'm a goblin. All this business is... All this sitting around is horrible for business. I have to find a way to recoup some of my lost profits. Those Drenai females are obsessed with the way their horns look. They are? I overheard one of them talking about a root that grows in Blade Moon... Blade Moon Bloom. What a fucking name. That supposedly reduces horn shredding or something. I bet I could sell that root for a nice profit. I'll give you a cut if you can help get the supply going. All this talk about poison and paralysis is not helping my sales. Gidwin can be so rude sometimes. Yeah, how dare he get poisoned? What a dick. So we're going back in here. Back to kill some more things, I guess? I have to kill a bunch of people who are poisoned, I suppose. I really like this area is pretty cool even though the the mobs are like annoying as shit as you could tell it took me like almost 30 minutes to complete that quest because the five leaves or whatever the the, the, the moon leaves or whatever they spawn so sparingly sleep that's not that's the quest lady so hence you know why I edit this and cut out shit that waste time what am I? Am I killing these guys? Who am I killing? I'm killing something. Bloom keepers? What am I? A youth vine. Oh, these are the things they wanted. There's venom shade. What is? There's the rare again. Oh, here's a sleepy guy. Yo, who is this? Talwin High Beacon of the Argent Crusade. Are you? Should I remember you? You're also wielding Keldalar, which is kind of freaky. I assume that's supposed to be a placeholder for something, because there's only one Keldalar. And he's wielding it, Lady Liadrin is also wielding it, and neither of them are the canonical wielders. Dave Kosak, or, or Dave Kosak or Mickey Nielsen, one of them said that, you know, Liadrin using it isn't, uh, isn't like some kind of, like, subtle canon that they're trying to say. It's just, uh... A placeholder. Oh, Rimblad Earthshaker. I recognize that name. From the Earth and the Ring. Yeah, all these fucking things. Get out of here.
Jeez. Here, buddy. I'll help. Bye. Oh, fuck. Get out of here. I just want to heal. Damn. Oh, I got to kill these guys. Blade Moon Batani. Oh, the, the new modeled guys that I was killing before. For no reason. Let's go murder them. There's one. He's sleeping. Let's kill him. <laughs> what a way to wake up on fire. So these guys are, like, the whole group of these guys are collectively considered primals. That's a new thing. I don't think that was really being talked about. I remember reading some people talking about it, but I didn't know what they actually were talking about. <laughs> Some people, some people in the fan community were mentioning primals. And I was like, I was thinking, I don't know what that is. But I guess it's these guys, and the Mandragoras, and the, the other annoying guys. All of these people here in this obnoxious area. That looks really nice, but it has a bunch of annoying minds. So I have to speak with Ranger, what's his piss? Oh, here he is, he's over here. I oh, know this is a quest. Argus! Argus High Beacon. Of the Argent Crusade. Don't worry, bro. I got the elixir for you. You're safe. Two more of these mofos. Uno mas. There's a bunch of them here. I kill one when you could kill two. Or three, because that one aggroed two. Stop spoiling things. All right, everything's done. I got to talk to the guy. Says he should be over here. There he is. Damn it. Why aren't you helping me? Comic? Kermit? Kermit? Whatever your fucking name is. What's up, bro? Warm wishes. Good, you made it. I need your help. This is bad. A genocide. Oh, a genocide. A genocide is starting to sprout right here in the bloom. This is the first reported case of a genocide being born in Drenor in over 300 years. Really? No wonder the Batani and the Far are acting so crazy. They are bringing back bodies to fertilize this monstrosity. We have to kill it before it gets any larger. Once it's fully grown, there's no stopping it. May your days so be if long, and your heart lead a charge against the Genestar and Acroxus, the Rangari will be right behind you. Oh shit, it's right here. So if these guys aren't supposed to be Genestar, what don't tell me that they're supposed to look like that. Come on, they're fucking copy-pasted Tolvir models. I guess let's kill them. Oh, I see there's Rengari flying around. Help me, bro. I use my garrison forces. Get him. That thing's fucking huge, by the way. And he's dead. No Genesar for you. Each day What's up? Is a bliss. We did it. That was close. If that dinosaur would have grown any larger, we would need an army to destroy it. Thank you for your help. Be kind to those. Oh, purifying the gene pool. I always wondered what this quest was supposed to be because it's fucking like weird. That's a weird name for a fucking quest. Let's go turn these into Fiona and uh, we completed a chapter. So I didn't even think. I thought this were all just side quests. I didn't think this was an actual thing. So let's turn these into Fiona. Um... And everybody else. Get back to our garrison. See the progress on our mission. And I think that'll be it for this episode. Am I just, where am I going? Okay. Did they move? Did their caravan move back to the base? I don't remember them being that far away. 
But yeah, I'm kind of bummed out if these are supposed to be the actual Blade Moon. If they're supposed to be fucking Tolvir models. I mean, if they if Blizzard really wanted to, they could put them in the game and be like, you know, we did say that the Titans visited Draenor, so we put these guys here. It just would be really, really lazy. So I hope they're placeholders for at least something. Or at least they change the model in some way. Right now, it just looks like a Tolvir that's tinted, like, yellow and green. So here we are. We got all the shit. First you. Do I have a deal for you? Hmm, how am I gonna package this? I have an idea. Beasel writes Young Root on a label and slaps it onto a bottle of adder oil. What a fucking asshole. He throws the Young Root in the bushes behind him. Perfect. Have a hey, you wanna buy some Stingtail eye drops before you head out? They are great for reading at night and almost never cause blindness. Oh, snake oil salesman. Blizzard, I see what you're doing there. Punishing the primals. That's what I'm talking about. Great work out there, in Necroxus. These plants are lucky I don't have my shears on me. Are we going to get Fiona as a follower? That'd be cool. Open for business. Uh, poison paralysis. I can never repay you for all you've done here, Necroxus. I'm truly in your debt. We are! <laughs> yeah! I've spoken with the rest of my caravan. We'd agreed to rest our wagon for a while and pledge our service to your garrison. Gidwin, Terranar, and I have gotten into our fair share of our brawls. You should see this dwarf after he has a few ciders in. I think we could be of great use to you. What do you think? Fiona, even though this is a picture of a drone and I, and says Artificer Ramul again. Cheerio. Cool. That's awesome. All right, we're going to go back to the garrison. Oh, well, actually, first we're going to turn this quest in, because I forgot we had it still. So sweet. So we're, what, we're three out of, we're four out of seven already. We have a Sister Sacrifice, Delight Prevails, Gloomshade Grove. Didn't I do Gloomshade Grove when I killed all those fucking little things? I feel like I did. Let's go up here, talk to whoever. This guy. What's up, bro? Warm wishes to My brother Andura gathers wild berries from the hills of our village. It was during one of these excursions that he met up with Maroon. I demand retribution! Thank you. We can rest easily. This beast has been put to the end. Cool. Be kind. And an upgrade. These are all upgrades. Upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade. Cool. Back to the garrison. Oops, wrong button. Oh, that's so very loud. Why do certain warlock spells... Are they? Why are they so loud? God, thank you. Shit. Crazy. Cool. Oh, I see a quest. Garrison mission complete. Yeah, she did it. There's literally no music in this garrison right now. What do we get? Something that I can't see because it's bugged. Rangaria rescue. Minion swarm. Counter this threat. What does she have? She has mind shear. She's a shadow priest. I didn't know that. Good luck, Fiona. Oh, we get... We already have Delirium Moonfang, don't we? Yeah, we do. But I guess we'll get two of them, because why not? So there's that. Who is Bodrick Gray? I don't know who that is. Let's go see what he wants. I still feel like we haven't done a lot of Shadow Moon yet. We still have, like, this whole area to do. And we haven't even been to the temple yet. It still says we have stuff to do over here, and I also know there's certain... There's a couple side quests here in this area. Aim true. Oh, are we going to have stuff to do with Amber? With you. The secrets of Gorgon. Oh, it wants me to go to Gorgon. Commander, your realm around have a tactical suggestion. They recommend a small expedition of group be sent into the savage wildlands of Gorgon far to the north. Reports from the Rengari suggest that the land may hold ancient secrets or primal knowledge that we might use to exploit weaknesses in the Iron Horde that our enemy would not expect. If you wish to go, I will have a griffin prepared for you at once. Go with honor, friend. So basically then he'll have a griffin here. So, But uh, I am going to untrack that because we can't even get into Gorgon right now. So yeah. Alright. So this will be the end of this episode. Uh, next time I guess we're going to go talk to Valen and see what's going on down there. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching as always. And stay tuned for more Warlords of Draenor uh, beta. Uh oh. Never mind. Hold on. I see another quest. Put that on hold. Hold hold that ending. Hold that outro. One second.
Also, I still don't have enough to do my alchemy thing. I still need five more of these. What is this? What are you doing? Hello, what? This abandoned mine shaft has been overrun with gore, and they seem to be responding to commands from a big one down in the mine. If you can take them out, they will retreat. Once you have the gore cleared out, we can have that mine up and working. But how do I... I can't get into the mine. It's closed. Uh... I can't... Oh, look at that. Look at that clip. I can see under there. Can I maybe fall in there? Oh, I can and I didn't. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. So, fuck it. That's the end of the episode, guys. <laughs> I suppose I learned my lesson from doing that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Farewell.